in the world, there are yachts and super yachts. But what we have here is something that is unlike anything on the water today. Mitzi Studio has designed what would be the very first aircraft yacht in the world. While I'm not exactly sure how one would acquire an aircraft carrier for this, there's to be a way because this is just too good of a design. Called the Noah's Twin Carrier, this one-of-a-kind aircraft carrier yacht has all of the amenities you'd expect from a mansion. Yes, a mansion. I say that because it comes with a three-hole golf course that is revealed when the deck is flipped around. There is also an infinity pool, tiki village, helipad, dock for a speedboat, and when the golf course is not revealed, there's a landing strip for jets. The FS Fop was the second Clemenceau-class aircraft carrier to serve with the French Navy, first operating in 1963. Brazil renamed it the Ni Sao Paulo when it purchased the carrier in 2000. The historically important vessel, which carried 40 modern aircraft, was decommissioned in 2018. A Turkish company bought it in March 2021 for $1.86 million in order to dismantle the ship, since much of consists of recyclable metals. But now a group of German companies have joined forces for a project called the Dusseldorf Initiative, aiming buy out and convert the 869-foot ship and its flight deck into a luxurious leisure space. The concept is based on the Dutch studio Mitzi super yacht model, called the Noah Twins Carrier, which is a design for the first aircraft yacht in the world. Udo Stern, the initiative spokesperson, said he was looking for an international investor to buy the ship, pay the transfer costs, and finance its renovation. The group of companies would then be involved in the yacht phase of the process. It's not about the money for us. I'm thinking of a European ship of cultures, a globally unique project to transform a military into a civilian object," Stern said. He said the 148,000-square-foot hangar under the flight deck holds a sufficient amount of space for exhibitions, sporting events, cinemas and concerts. The team is waiting for France's resale approval. Stern said a visionary from the tourism industry could easily and profitably convert the ship's 55 military rooms into hotel rooms, casinos and restaurants. The Falk and the FS Clemenceau formed the backbone of the world's second-largest carrier force for the latter half of the Cold War. Both vessels were catapult-assisted carriers, using an on-deck mechanism to launch and recover aircraft from the deck. The Falk sails at a maximum speed of 30 knots, about 34 mph, and it can accommodate 1,920 personnel including crew, air group, and troops. Dismantling the ship has sparked discussion over the pollution risk associated with the scrap cutting process. The French court stopped the scrapping of the asbestos-laden aircraft carrier Clemenceau on the beach of Alang, India, in 2006. Fifteen years later, France is faced with a second toxic headache, the NGO shipbreaking platform said in a statement. It is estimated that on board the vessel there are approximately 900 tons of asbestos and asbestos-containing materials, hundreds of tons of PCB-containing materials, and large quantities of heavy metals. PCB are chlorine compounds that cause cancer and other disease, according to the International Agency for Research on Cancer. Industrialized nations have banned their production and labeled them persistent organic pollutants. And PCB aren't the only environmental hazard on board. Annie Thabaud Money, director of research at the National Institute of Health and Medical Research in Paris, said that the large amounts of asbestos still on board the Sao Paulo need to be handled and disposed of without exposing workers and surrounding communities to the risk of cancer. The contractual clause in the sale of the FOC to Brazil gives France the last say in where the aircraft carrier can be dismantled. French authorities must direct the Clemenceau's sister ship to an EU-approved facility anything else would be a scandal, she said. Shipbreaking Platform sent a letter to the Turkish Ministry of Environment and Urbanization in June 2021. The aircraft carrier should not be allowed to leave Brazil until and unless the IHM, an inventory hazardous material certificate, is completed. The sale must therefore be annulled and subject to rebidding, based on legal constraints and a proper and accurate IHM, said the NGO. The Sao Paulo Foc Institute in Brazil, a group of former Brazilian and French military personnel, hopes to prevent the aircraft carrier from being dismantled. They want to turn it into a museum. It would be much more profitable and beneficial than dismantling the ship. Approximately 600 tons of asbestos hazardous for human health and nature were encapsulated in the ship. Such an agreement would decrease the ship's dismantling expenses, and transporting the ship to the Mediterranean will be very expensive, the group said. So that's it for today. If you like this video then please hit the like and subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching.